Hi, friends. Person just dropped into my channel and uh, told that was just an uh, office gastroenterologist, was diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus and said that um, gastroenterologist said there is, no, there is no treatment that we will just watch. So purple person is in great distress and want to know if anything he can do to reverse the condition. And the answer is yes. So um, let's go and talk about Barrett's esophagitis. I have on my channel a couple of videos that I, I uh, created on the topic of dysplasia and metaplasia. Barrett's esophagus is, by definition, is metaplasia. What that means is, example here, the normal squamous epithelial cells of esophagus get substituted with different called gland cells, and that is, by definition, metaplasia. Metaplasia is not a cancer yet. It is a precancer. However, it could be converted into cancer and the rate of conversion is 0.5% per year. So meaning that the longer you have Barrett's esophagus, the higher chance that it will get converted into cancer. So you need to take steps to reverse that from here back to squamous epithelial cells. I took this picture from the textbooks of, uh, textbook of gastroenterologists. And if you look carefully on this picture, you will see that under this line, there are causes of the conversion of squamous cells to gland cells. Look at that, acid and bile reflex. So the virus caused by acid reflex. Acid reflex creates inflammation. And then also on the surface of the, the cells, there are different receptors called RAS and Hedgehog and different, the other, there are others which will start to fire from the surface of the cells to the DNA, telling the cell, start to grow fast and reproduce. And that's by definition is the cancer. So you want to deal with all those factors, acid or bile reflex, decrease inflammation and stop the firing. Well, let's go and talk about that. So step number one, deal with your acid reflex. Step number two, help with herbs and supplements to restore the lining of uh, uh, epithelial, normal epithelial cells. Number one, on my channel, I have three videos and they all labeled eight common causes of acid reflex. This is video number one. And this part of the three, in this three videos, I talk most common causes of acid reflex. And in video number three, I talk how to reverse. In my experience, 80% of the patient will get better if they would be able to make those changes. This is very important. So this is on you, do it. Step number two, let's help with herbs. Here you, on the picture, you can see, this is how normal esophageal sphincter um, cells of uh, low esophageal sphincter look like. This is Barrett's esophagus. Low esophageal sphincter is open and this dark red cells, it means that they get damaged by hydrochloric acid. So as you make the changes and start to deal with acid reflex, you need to do A, protect those cells. B, take anti-inflammatory herbs or supplements and then restore the help to restore that squamous epithelial cells. Here is how you're going to do that. Protect slippery elm and marshmallow root. They are mus mus called mucilinous herbs. They are like, when you make a tea out of them, they will be like slippery, like your own mucus, and they will cover low, um, low part of the esophagus, protecting from damaging effect of hydrochloric acid. Example of anti-inflammatory supplement could be fish oil. And to restore, take L-glutamine, about six grams per day. Guys, if you need more information, please write there to me in, um, in the description, ask the questions. And if you need a health coach, please contact me through the website. Otherwise, like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.